you. First of all, congratulations, I'm being here like four, seven years later. <laughs> and a very solid performance. Are you surprised, especially of the fact that you won 37 out of 39 points on your serve, which on clay never happens, I mean, almost. On grass, yes, but on <laughs> clay, we never saw it. For me, it happens more on clay than on grass. Um, <laughs> Oh, look, I mean, obviously, uh, I've been playing well all week uh, from the first point of, of the first round to, till now. And um, obviously, extremely happy with uh, with how things went. Um, struggled a little bit in the semifinals, but then, you know, got my way out of it. And today was was a great performance. I think Nico has been somebody that has been playing extremely well. The, the way that he beat the opponents and the, what kind of opponents he beat as well. Um, shows that he's been absolutely on fire. Um, so I had to neutralize that. I had to neutralize his surf as well a lot. Um, yeah, and of course, I'm happy to be sitting next to this trophy. Hi, Sasha. Congrats. Your father was crying during the celebration. But he uh, always cries. <laughs> How important is your father in your career and your life? Yeah, look, uh, life general, I think a father is always important, no matter for who it is and to somebody who's there. Uh, but obviously in my career, uh, super important. Um, you know, we, it's funny because we actually have a great relationship, uh, which is not always the case in, you know, a, a father-son, father-daughter relationship when, when uh, they're coaching them as well. You know, you, you see it a lot of times, it's very shaky, but we, we have a great relationship outside. Um, as well, and um, you know, it's it's great to to s still have him around. You know, I'm gonna have him around as long as he wants to. Um, yeah, and it's obviously a special moment for for all of us. I think, given the circumstances, that this is my my first Masters after the injury, and um, there was obviously a lot of uncertainties whether um, I was going to to be back at this level. And you know, I'm happy that that the week went the way it went. Hi, Sasha, congratulations. Um, considering the doubts about uh, the other big names, uh, Yannick, Carlos, Novak too, do you think that Roland Garros can be a big chance for your career to win a slam? Look, I've said it many times before, and I'm going to say it again. Um, I'm somebody that I know that when I don't play well, I can lose to anyone. Um, but when I play well, I know I can beat anyone. And that's my mindset, that's my, how I think about it. Um, and I know I have to focus on myself to find my rhythm in Paris the way I did here. And then everything is on my own racket. Yes, Sasha, we know you can play very well, of course. But did you find something new on clay during this tournament or something special uh, on the mix? Yeah, I mean, before the tournament, the clay court season didn't go as well as, as I would have hoped for. Um, but of course, it's all about finding a rhythm, and um, I'm happy that I did it here right before Roland Garros, and hopefully I can take it into Roland Garros and, and play some of my best tennis there as well. Hi, Sasha. Um, do you feel like you've got unfinished business with uh, the French Open, given that's where you suffered your ankle injury? That's an interesting question, because obviously being there three times in the same finals in a row, um, playing some of the best tennis of my life there uh, when, when I injured my ankle. Uh, so in general, it is always the tournament that is marked in my calendar um, throughout the past few years. And this year, is, there is no exception. And um, that's, that's the one that I want to win. That's the one that um, I, look, I look forward the most, maybe, uh, throughout the year. And I'm going to do everything I can this year. And uh, we'll see, we'll see where, where it can end up. Uh, when you won uh, here the first time, you were number 17 in the world, and you became num top 10 for the first. Was it more important then or today? Or the, of course, <laughs> there are very different situations, but for you, yeah. what do you remember? Very different, because obviously the first one is extremely special, always. Um, but in a way, 
when I, when I was young, I was extremely confident and I was thinking, okay, it's going to come at some point. After the injury, I was not sure whether it's going to come or not. So this one is special in its, in its own way because it proves me that I can win these kind of tournaments again. And, um, you know, I'm at the level where I want to be. And, you know, moving forward, I can, I can dream again. And uh, this is what this week brings me. Just can you precise about Roland Garros? Why, why is it the, the one, the, the one uh, you want the most? Because it's clay to start with. It's the most physical one for me, in my opinion. It's the physically toughest one. Um, but I think it's the one where I have the most memories, good or bad. You know, uh, US Open, yes, I was two points away from winning the title. Of course, that's, that's also one that um, that kind of sticks out, but Roland Garros, you know, so close to being in final in 2021, I felt like. I was um, playing some of the best tennis of my life in 2022, so those kind of things, they, they are still in the back of my mind, and um, yeah, that's the one that I want to do well in. What are your thoughts about what we're going to see in Paris from Novak and Yannick and Carlos with all these questions and, and Rafa. What, what do you think? Novak's going to be at his best. You will see. It's just the way it is. Rafa is going to play a lot better than he did in Madrid and Rome. I'm certain about that. Um, and the other two, they, they just depend on health. If they're healthy, they're two of the best players in the world, for sure. And there's no question about it. Whether they're healthy or not, I cannot answer because I don't know. I'm not inside the body, but I saw Yannick posted a picture of him practicing again, so I'm assuming that he's fine and he's, he's feeling good on the tennis court. Um, yeah, and look, it's all about health. When they're healthy, they're two of the best players in the world. Hi, Sasha, congratulations. Um, considering the doubts about uh, the other big names, uh, Yannick, Carlos, Novak too, do you think that Roland Garros can be a big chance for your career to win a slam? Look, I've said it many times before, and I'm going to say it again. Um, I'm somebody that I know that when I don't play well, I can lose to anyone. Um, but when I play well, I know I can beat anyone. And that's my mindset. That's my, how I think about it. Um, and I know I have to focus on myself to find my rhythm in Paris the way I did here. And then everything is on my own racket.